Damn fan, Southern California resident winning at home. Emmy Weekly, yeah, I love these guys. Well, thank you. We love you too, man. Congratulations on the win. How are you feeling? I feel ecstatic. I feel great, man. I couldn't, couldn't be better. Now, this, this was a back and forth fight, uh, you know, lots of action in it. What was going through your head when, when you guys were going back and forth like that? For me, like, damn, come on, I need to knock this guy out. You know, I don't want to go to decision. And like, one round was over. I went to the second round. I was, like, I was thinking, to myself, okay, one more round. Don't get knocked out. Put the, put the pace on. I know he's more tired than me. At what point in the fight did you think you were going to take it? Um, if that was the case, did you feel that you were going to take it at any point in the fight? I, I, felt, I felt like in the first round, like, okay, I'm out, I definitely thought that I was out hooking him, out boxing him. Yeah, for sure. You landed a few shots. Did you feel like you broke him at all at, at that point? Uh, you know, he's tough, you know, he's a sturdy guy, but there's a couple times I got wobbled and I tried to chase him down, try to knock him out, but he's tough, man. I, I couldn't finish him. Now, when the decision was about to be read and, and you knew, you know, your hand was being, or your arm was being held, were you confident that you were going to be, uh, your, your arm was going to be raised or were you thinking, oh man, I'm, I'm in trouble here? I thought I was confident before the decision and then I was like, man, fan, Cole Miller, like, what, and again, come on, man, it's, it's LA, hometown. And then, the, and then I got it, so I was very happy. Now, uh, you know, you talk about being a hometown guy. We're currently, you know, in the place where the Lakers and the Clippers and the Kings play. Is, do you get kind of a, a, a feeling like, wow, this, this is where Kobe Bryant plays ball? Is, do you get a feeling like that? Yeah, before, uh, before the fight, I was like, wow, it's the Staples Center, man. Like, the Lakers, this is, what, this is a big time. You know, I'm doing it. All right. What are you going to do to celebrate this one? Oh, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm like a boring old man. I don't do nothing. I'm going to go to Hooters with my, with my, with my corner. We're just, just going to have fun to eat. That's all we're going to do. You've been working with Team Alpha Male uh, leading into this fight. Is that right? That's correct. You know, for this camp, for my past few camps, I went to uh, uh, Team Alpha Male with Yara Faber. You know, Dan still invited me over, and, like, it paid dividends big time. How much have they helped you personally uh, throughout your, uh, this point in your career, seeing as that you just transitioned over with them? A huge, there's a big difference in my in my camp. You know, um, you're right a favor. You know, he knows he knows a lot. You know, very wise guy. Um, to, talking about like uh, you know, dieting, training tips, like how to rest, how to train. Like, I, you know, you think you know everything, but then like, dude, you talk to these guys. These, these guys know a lot. Well, clearly you're learning because you're winning in in your hometown. Yeah, thank God. You know, good thing I still call 100 bucks to let me win this fight. <laughs> well, congratulations on the win, and uh, thanks for talking with MMAWeekly.com. Thanks a lot, MMAWeekly. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.